In the previous study, we have mastered how to build a Chirp Stack server. Next, we will focus on how to configure the gateway device to connect to the Chirp Stack server. Before configuring Chirp Stack, we need to modify the Chirp Stack configuration file because the LoRAWAN gateway used in the demonstration only supports the CN470 frequency band region. Therefore, we need to manually add region files. Here are the specific steps. First, go to the chirpstack docker folder. Then, open the chirpstack.toml file using a text editor like Vim. In the chirpstack.toml file, find the section where the region needs to be added. You can add regions according to your needs. Here, we will add all the regions that may be used. After completing the additions, press the escape key, enter, WQ to save the modifications. Next, open the chirpstack gateway bridge.toml file using Vim. In the chirpstack gateway bridge.toml file, find the section that needs to be modified. Change EU868 to CN470 underscore zero. After completing the modification, press the escape key, enter, WQ to save the modifications. Finally, open the docker compose.yml file using Vim. In the docker compose.yml file, find the section that needs to be modified. Change chirpstack gateway bridge EU868 to chirpstack gateway bridge CN470 underscore zero. After completing the modification, press the escape key, enter, WQ to save the modifications. The above method uses the Vim editor for modifications, but you can also use other editors or the file management system of SSH software for modifications. After making the modifications, restart the Chirp Stack service. Now, we need to re-enter the Chirp Stack to set the device configuration file. First, click on the Device Profiles tab, then click the Add Device Profile button. In the General tab, you can freely set the name field. In the Region field, since the gateway used in the demonstration only supports the CN470 standard, it needs to be set as CN470. Similarly, the region configuration needs to be set as CN470 underscore zero. In the Mac version field, set it to LoRAWAN 1.0.2 according to the gateway's settings. In the Regional Parameters Revision field, set it to be according to the gateway's settings. In the ADR Algorithm field, it is recommended to keep the default settings, but you can change it according to the actual situation. In LoRAWAN, Class A, Class B, and Class C refer to the communication modes of devices. However, in this tutorial, we won't go into detail about the differences between these modes. For stability, we will enable Class C communication mode and set the Class C confirmed downlink timeout to zero to ensure that the device can receive downlink data in a timely manner. Next, we need to add a gateway. Click on the Gateways tab, then click the Add Gateway button. In the General tab, you can freely set the name field. Please note that the Gateway ID field needs to be unique within the same environment and server to avoid duplicate IDs. You can click the Generate Random button to generate a random identifier. In the Stats Interval field, you can set it according to the actual situation, but the default value is recommended. After setting this, click the Submit button to save. Next, we need to configure the gateway to connect to the server. Before starting, make sure the gateway is powered on and connected to the network with an Ethernet cable. The default gateway address for the demonstration device is 192.168.10.1. To avoid network conflicts, do not connect devices with the same gateway address. In the Wi-Fi list on your computer, find the Wi-Fi name of the gateway and connect to it. By default, this Wi-Fi does not have a password, so you can connect directly. 
Now, we need to use a browser to access 192.168.10.1 for gateway configuration. The default password is root. On the gateway management page, you can perform gateway configuration, but we won't go into detail here. Go to the gateway settings in low RA1 network settings. The gateway ID is the gateway ID configured in the server settings. The server address is the address of the ChirpStack server you deployed, which is 10.100.0.135 here. After completing this, simply click Save and Apply. Wait for the prompt that the configuration has been applied. Now, go back to ChirpStack and go to the Gateways section.